I'll stand back. It's a little bit squelchy out here. He's away. That's Will driving the tractor. He's going to be helping us out in the future, so. And so he might as well have a go on the tractor now. He actually has been helping me today because I've got like 20 fields of grass to fertilise. Um, so it's helpful to have someone with me to open and shut gates. Saves a lot of time. So I thought as he's with me, he might as well have a go. And he's getting on fine. He's just going for a rut. That's why he slowed down. These fields, these are all cattle grazing fields, so they're pretty rough. Everything wants a good roll in. We're uh, just filling those rollers up with water. And um, hopefully, hopefully we've got another dry day tomorrow. We'll get out and do some rolling. Or maybe this evening, once we get this fertilising job done. We've got the first, the, it's a ZA TS 4200. I'm going to get hit with fertiliser on the 6155R. It's on a bit of a steep slope here, you might not be able to tell. I'm getting hit with fertiliser. That's why it's going steady, because it's on a bit of a slope and it's uneven. It's not ideal, but it's cattle grazing fields. Travelling well out here, considering it's a little bit squelchy underfoot. Um, the tractor tyres are travelling well. There's already a nice bit of grass out here, aren't there? But the cows would soon eat that off. It gets a bit tight, but it'll be fine. As long as he just aims for the middle and goes steady, it'll be fine. I'm pretty sure that spinner has been across there before. I think I took it across there last year. Loads of room. Drop the sprayer off there, off the Jerome hitch. Pull forward a bit. I've got to swap the hitch over, um, and then I'm going to pick up the flat rollers. I'm going to pick up the flat rolls and fill them up with water. We'll take these around to the hose pipe and fill them up with water. We've got to put the scraper back on as well. Actually, first thing we've got to do is straighten out the scraper and then put it back on. Oh dear, this isn't going very well. I'm trying to turn around. And it's Monday, by the way. Monday the 25th of March. Just lifting the one side of the rolls up with the pallet fork so we can get the bung at the top. You've got to fill up all four sections. 
just twisting it around like, so the bung's at the top. We've got to see if we can straighten out the scraper that goes on the back of the front roller. I don't know how it got bent. We'll just see if we can push down on it with the loader and see if it straightens it. Use it as a press. What do you reckon? All right. They filled up already. They didn't take long to fill up. Just got to find the bungs now. Put the bung in. Proper cattle grazing fields these are, there's like trees everywhere, it's rough ground, but um, yeah I've only got a few fields left now, it's just coming up to 6 o'clock in the evening. Um, we're putting this on at 200 kilos to the hectare, it's um, nitrogen, potash and sulphur, so yeah, flying. It's travelled a lot better today than what, I, it's, than what I thought it was going to, it's travelled a lot better than it did two weeks ago when I gave up. Um, it's definitely the, the ground has definitely drained. So yeah, it's going well. Right, hopefully we'll have another dry day tomorrow. There's a tree there on the fence. Have another dry day tomorrow and get some, uh, maybe get Will set up on the rolls. Get him, get some grass rolled. Only thing I'm missing on this tractor compared to uh, the 6215 is the hydraulic stabilizers. It's um. It, it does shunt around a little bit on the back of this tractor. Um, you can only get it so tight, but not as tight as the hydraulic ones. Okay, Tuesday morning, I'm just pulling into the grass field right by the yard, got the rollers on. I'm going to see if we can do some flat rolling. Well, Will's going to come and take over in a bit. I finished the fertilising yesterday, so I'll go and wash that off. Get him set up on here and then I'll go and wash that off. I do need to let some air out the tyres, so we'll do that in a minute. I pulled the pins out, so we should just be able to Swing it around now. On a bit of a slope, it makes it easier to unfold them. It's a while since I've used these. Uh, maybe I'll reverse up a bit. So I'll get that front one in. No. Try it again. Try not to take out the fence at the same time. Right, let me swing it around that way. Might get it this time. Perfect. Oh, it's a muddy mess in here. Needs a good wash. Uh, getting, some, <laughs> stuff in the eyes. getting some new tyres on there in the next week or two, so um, I better give it a wash. On then, alright. It's only just dry enough, to be honest. It's sticking to, when when you go through the mud patches, it's sticking to the rollers behind the tyres. I mean, it's doing a good job where it's not much, where it's not st sticky. He's off. I'll go and wash the first spinner, and then he can have the one five five. Then, yeah, it's flattening this down nicely. 
we probably have started in the wettest field, so the next one will be better. Right, we're going to swap tractors. Will can have this one. Oh, I'll just take the weight off first. Just let some air out of the tyres on the 155. It's a lot smoother now. They did have about 30 psi in the back tyres. You're not going through the gate. You see over there, go on. Hey, stay there. No, oh, we only moved you through there yesterday. Stay there. We should be fine as long as the rolls don't slide to the side. Sometimes they slip sideways. We're good. Right, we'll unhook them now and put the 155 on. This will be a bit drier out in this bottom bit. It looks like he found a few muddy patches on the on the headland. They'll clean up in a minute. Right, that's him sorted out. He can carry on rolling all day, as long as it doesn't rain. There is a chance of rain this afternoon, so we'll see what happens, but it's a lovely day at the moment, right now. Looks like it's going quite well out there. He'll um, roll out all the ruts I made when I put the fertiliser on. I need to go and clean the windows on here and put the sprayer back on. So my next job is to uh, put some liquid in on the second wheat. So all I've got to do is import the the files. Is it that one? What's the date on that? 25th of, yeah, and 25th. We need those two. They're the variable rate nitrogen plans. Um, okay, import that. Successfully imported. And that one as well. Well, they might be the same thing. Successfully imported. Right, so now I've got the variable rate plans um, on this tractor. Ready for when I want to go fertilise him. I'm having a go on the rolls now. Uh, Billy's gone home for his lunch and to feed his lamb. So I'll jump on here for an hour. It's definitely soft enough, but it's doing a really good job. It wouldn't want to be any wetter, um, but yeah, it's doing a good job. We're on some uh, haylage ground now. This is gonna be mowed for haylage. And it is, it is kind of spitting with rain. It is forecast to rain a bit this afternoon, but hopefully it won't come too much. Just just a little bit of light rain and we'll be able to carry on. It's funny, all the lambs are playing in the rubble pile. Well, they're sat in there. They seem to be sat in there quite nicely, actually. As 
still raining a bit. He's come back, come back to take over on his job. I think he's gonna have to pack up in a minute. This rain carries on. It's only spitting, but is this thing gonna change gear or what? That's better. Put it in automatic. It's actually raining quite a bit now. Oh, that looks worse than what I thought it was going to be. Good rain all evening. Great. Just as things started to dry up. I don't look like it's going very well. It's Wednesday morning, I'm at farm two. It's going to load a load of wheat, but I think it's stuck on the grass. Oh, he's away now. No? Yeah, he's away. We did have 11 mil of rain last night, so it made things pretty wet. But it's a nice day today. It's not doing a very good job of that. Um, yeah, hopefully things will dry up and we'll be able to go and put some fertilizer on the wheat this afternoon. He's loading now. We got there in the end. It is quite windy out there. So we'll see how it goes for fertilizing. It might even be too windy for fertilizing. Second one's just got here now. He's a Trinity one, he wants some wheat too. It's very sticky. It's starting to rain again already. I'm oh, gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the farm. Just want a couple of days drying on it and then we can drill the beans. Those bloody lorries have driven on the grass on the way out the farm. They made a right mess. I don't know if it was the open field one or the Trinity one, but bloody hell. The open field one couldn't park to save his life. When you go out the lorry, I said, is it your first day? Somebody's dumped some rubbish in the gateway. It's pouring it down now. There's no way I'll be able to travel in the fields today. Just filling a lorry with some wheat. It's really pouring it down out there. It's such a shame. It was lovely this morning, wasn't it? I thought we complained about the weather a lot last year, but we're definitely topping it already this year. It's just so frustrating. But what can we do? It's just, it's just there. It just happens. I think tomorrow is a bit better. Might be showery tomorrow, but hopefully the ground will be won't be too wet to travel on the uh, tram lines. We got to put some liquid L on the on the second week, so hopefully we can do that tomorrow. At least then we'll be getting something done. Keep the wheat growing. Thursday morning. It's lovely and sunny. I want it to be like this all the time. It started off this like this yesterday though, and it turned rubbish. Um, yeah, we have had quite a lot of rain in, in the night. Ditches are running. Yeah, you can see water lead on the fields, look. That's a crop of wheat out there. Uh, which one's that? Bruno, come on. I get confused between these two dogs. So yeah, I won't be doing any field work today. Way too wet to travel. And there is, for, it's forecast showers as well today, so. Yeah, it'll just start to dry up and then it'll rain again. This is all that's left of lamb now. Just nine left to go. And that one's on the go this morning. She, she's a twin. So yeah, almost done. I need to drop these mud flaps off. And hook them on the wall. Right, if I lower that down now, they will the mud flaps will hang on the wall and I'll be able to drive away. All forward. How lovely, it's raining again. At least I'll wash the windows. 
I will give the windows a proper washing a bit actually as the tractor's getting wet. We've got to pick this thing up and give it a wash. Um, hopefully I've got enough pressure in my tyres. It's a four metre cousin subsoiler. And it's off to Sunny Essex. Simon sold it. Okay. We'll give it a wash. Pick it up and see what happens. I think I've got about 16 psi on the back tyres. Well, she's done it. We might be pulling wheelies. That front box that I've got on the front only weighs about half a ton. Uh, the steering's not really working. <laughs> yeah, we're just going straight on. Now we're moving now. I need to wash it, but I think I might wait for the rain to stop before I wash it, if it ever stops. Yeah, I think I might wait in here for a minute. It's pouring it down. Oh, it's not only raining, it's now blowing a gale as well. It's going to bed up some cows. It's horrible. I put two bales on each side for steaming up in here. Give them a nice fresh bed. I'm going to get two more bales, and that side can have a fresh bed too. It's so wet, we've got seagulls out in the field now. There's literally water running across the middle of that field. Like a river. Drop it down here. I did just give it a um, quick wash off of the steam cleaner just to get all the green stuff off it and give, give it a quick grease up as well so thought we'd better make an effort. I'm just going to take the press off the back um, so it'll fit on the lorry when they come and collect it.
All right, I'm going to park this tractor back in the shed. I did wash the windows uh, whilst I was washing the subsoiler, but I don't see any point in washing the whole tractor because it, next time I go out liquid fertilizer, it's just going to get muddy again. Forecast isn't looking great for next week. Lambs are all running around. We've just fed the ewes in here. Now the lambs are all playing. Um, we have given them some fresh bedding as well because they're staying in for a couple of days. Their field is too wet to go back out into. Look at them. The, um, they came in yesterday to be back. The lambs had to be vaccinated. So, yeah, once their field's dry enough, they will all go back outside. They're nuts. These are the oldest ones. These are about a month old now. These are the, this is the first batch. I should think they'll be glad to get back out in the field as soon as it's dry enough. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna need a boat soon. I think we're all just gonna float away. Well, I, the date today is the 28th, I think, of March. It's ridiculous. Torrential. Didn't even need our help. I've just given them a bag of food. There was no chance these two were going to get out. They look very scared. I think they're worried they're going to get mobbed. Right, let's go home.